Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Gabriella. I make videos about fragrance, mental health, self-care, dating. I do vlogs and basically whatever else I feel like talking about. So if that sounds like your jam, please stick around and do subscribe. It means a lot to have you here. Today, I'm gonna make a video of all of my tips, my beauty tips for this time of year when we can be feeling burnt out, overwhelmed, anxious, it can be really, really hard to feel confident when you don't have much time for yourself, much time for your normal routine, your sleep and, and workout schedule and what you eat and, and your self-care, it might be all thrown off because our plates are just so full. So I wanna give you my tips, my beauty tips to survive this season. Um, of course, this does not include the self-work that I always recommend, therapy, journaling, um, asking for the help that you need, leaning on your support system, that is really paramount. But as someone who loves makeup, fragrance, styling their hair, clothes, they really do have a special effect on our confidence and the way that we move through the world. So let's get into my tips. I hope you can find this helpful and it brings you a little bit of comfort, comfort and joy during this holiday season, okay? Let's get into it. So if you're not new to my channel, you know, fragrance is everything to me. Fragrance is the way that I mark special occasions in my life. It's the way that I switch my mindset if I'm not having a great day. It is like a sensory pep talk for me. So I wanna start by talking about fragrance, but I also wanna let you know about the Sephora Fragrance for All event. It's happening from the 13th of December until the 24th, and it is 20% off of full-size fragrances with the code FRAGRANCE20. And I wanna shout out Sephora and Magic Links for sponsoring this video. Appreciate you, always love a chance to talk about fragrance. Uh, another cool thing that they're doing for this event is they are doing free same day shipping with the code same day. So definitely check out the Fragrance for All event. While you're at it, sign up for the Beauty Insider program with Sephora if you're not already a member. All of the products that are part of my holiday burnout routine will be linked down below. So check that out in the description. And uh, let's jump into the video. Fragrance, like I said, changes how I walk through the world. It is almost like putting on a new pair of glasses. It changes the lens with which I look at the world. So definitely don't underestimate the potential for fragrance to help you through a difficult time, a stressful time when you feel overwhelmed. I have two fragrances that I wanna talk about today, both from Sephora. This fragrance is one that I've been asked and requested to try for like months now. I don't know why I never did, because the notes, was this fragrance made for me? Quite possibly. This is Love, Don't Be Shy by Killian. It's the star notes of this fragrance, get ready. Orange blossom, vanilla, marshmallow. Ugh! Oh my God, how did I ever go without this perfume? I have no idea. It reminds me of two things. It reminds me when I lived in Palm Springs and I was going through a really hard time. I was feeling overwhelmed, lost, anxious, but I had this orange tree in the backyard of the house that I was renting. And when I was in Palm Springs, it was like March, and that was the time when the orange trees were blossoming. The scent of orange blossom was carried through the wind every single day, every morning, and I would go out into the backyard have my coffee, do my journaling, center myself to the fragrance of orange blossoms in bloom. And I think maybe that's partially why orange blossom is my favorite note. It has always been very centering to me. It's like my meditative, my meditative scent. And it is also a fragrance that says, um, this too shall pass. You are strong, be gentle with yourself and find little moments throughout the day to just enjoy being alive. So it's very appropriate that this fragrance, which is really orange blossom heavy, speaks to me. Um, not only that, but it smells amazing on my skin. If you are somebody who likes the plastic baby doll kind of fragrances, you're gonna like this. It also reminds me of very, very expensive hair care. Um, like you just got your hair done in Beverly Hills. And it reminds me of what a very, very expensive candy shop would smell like, like a Beverly Hills exclusive candy shop where a little box of candies is like 25 bucks. And I get endless compliments on this, like endless. So 
If it's not Orange Blossom for you, I highly recommend finding a fragrance with notes that comfort you and give you that little pep talk, you know? Or find a fragrance that creates the environment that puts you at ease, like a, like a heavenly environment for you. And mine, my favorite place to go in the wintertime, in this season, is up to the mountains, either Idlewild or Big Bear. Um, one day I'll go to Aspen. I have a dream. Uh, I love the mountains. I love pine trees. I love mountains. I love the cold mountain air. I love snow. I love log cabins, fireplaces. I grew up in the Midwest where we had no mountains and I didn't do any of that. And then when I moved to the West Coast, I just realized I was missing a whole part of my personality. So. This fragrance, I'm sure you've heard of, it's pretty iconic, but it transports me to those heavenly moments. This is a replica fragrance from Maison Margiela, and this is By the Fireplace. This is described as a female and male fragrance. Some of the notes of this fragrance are clove, pink pepper, orange blossom, of course, chestnut, chestnuts roasting on an open fire, juniper, which always reminds me of wintertime as well, vanilla and cashmere. So this bottle's beautiful. I love that it sort of has that apothecary look. I think this is a great gift, great gift. Uh, I actually might buy this fragrance for one of my best friends. I'm not gonna reveal who, cause she's gonna know, but yeah. This to me smells a little bit marshmallowy. It must be the vanilla because there's not really a marshmallow note, but it, it just reminds me of cuddling up by the fireplace, and I've smelled this on several different people. On me, it pulls pretty sweet. On men that I've smelled it on, it's a little bit more spicy, but this is escapism in a bottle to me. If I need to escape the stress of the moment, I put this on and I am transported fireside in a cabin up in Big Bear with somebody really, really good looking. I have a couple other beauty tips that involve makeup, hair products, and things like that. So I'm gonna rewind to before I put all of this on, show you what I do, my sort of burnout winter routine, the products that I've been really enjoying, and I hope you get some helpful tips. Let's get into it. So one of my tips is to add sparkle to your routine. Now that could literally mean glitter and sparkle if you're someone like me and is really into that, or that could just mean adding color, trying something new, trying a new formula. If you usually go for powder foundations, try a liquid. If you usually go for lipstick, go for a gloss. Um, go for a bushy brow instead of something super sculpted. So I am going to add a little bit of sparkle to my routine firstly by using the JLo Beauty That JLo Glow Serum. She's one of my beauty icons, absolutely. So I am going to use a bit of this serum and be really gentle to my skin because winter is when I get dry and sensitive the most. Even living in Los Angeles, it still happens, even though we have a pretty mild climate. So what I like about this serum is it doesn't irritate my sensitive skin. I actually had an allergic reaction on my face a couple days ago um, and I'm still pretty sensitive and dry from it and this is not bothering me. I love that it lifts and tightens my skin instantly. It offers hydration and it's non-comedogenic which is huge because I do not play around with pore clogging ingredients can't do it. So another way that I'm gonna add a bit of sparkle to my routine is to use this Kat Von D palette. This is the Glam Rock palette. It's a shade and light eyeshadow quad. And it comes with two matte shades, this sort of metallic blue and a pressed glitter. I bought it because I wanted to play around with color. I know that I like blue on me, but I don't really have a lot of blue shadows. So that's how I'm adding a little bit of variety into my normal beauty routine this holiday season. But before I do the eyes, I wanna talk about the importance of convenience when you are burnt out. I have learned the hard way, um, not only in my beauty routine, but in my day-to-day -day life, the significance that convenience can make. For example, I used to be somebody that uh, I didn't ever wanna buy frozen food, right? I didn't wanna ever buy like, we're kind of taught that TV dinners and things like that are universally not good for you, even frozen vegetables, frozen this, frozen that, you shouldn't be eating it, maybe that's just LA. But I had this idea that I should just be cooking every meal fresh for myself. And frankly, it was not possible. I was too busy. And so then I would depend on eating fast food for every meal because that's all I had the time for. And then I actually felt worse than if I were actually just eating more convenient foods at home. So now, 
My fridge is stocked with very convenient foods. When I come home from a long day of doing shows, I can just heat something up in the microwave and I don't feel bad about it because it's saving me time, I have more time to sleep, and it's just less worry. So that translates to me into my beauty routine. Convenience, quickness, is everything because time is precious, especially during this time of year. I love finding a concealer that has a good amount of coverage, a thin formula, um, and using that as a foundation as well. I find that as someone who can struggle a bit with skin texture, the less makeup on my face, the better. So I love the Ilia True Skin Serum Concealer. This is of course available at Sephora. The shade that I have is SC 1.5 Suma. So, I use it pretty sparingly because honestly, it's really uh, amazingly pigmented and a little goes a long way. And my suggestion is you go for a concealer that truly matches your skin. You don't need to do the, you know, three shades lighter under your eyes. I'm not from that camp. If you're into clean green beauty, this is a clean brand. And then I just use my fingers to blend it out. There's hardly any tugging or anything that I have to do. It's really impressive how this just blends into my skin. And it really does look like skin. And I, I think I understand why they call it a serum concealer because it's very, very thin. If you are also looking for a clean alternative to the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, I just used that one up and replaced it with this. And I find that it has the same results, but an even thinner formula. Using a product also that you can multitask with is gonna save so much space if you need to travel for the holidays or if you're going to a party and you're just carrying a small clutch. I'm gonna do a little bit of contour and blush and I will be right back. Okay, all done with complexion. Another thing to keep things convenient and quick. Trust me on this, okay? Lipstick, find a lipstick that is your lips but better. So this is a Dior lipstick in the color 625 Mitza. It's a matte color, I love this formula. It's one of those that I can just apply without a mirror. Find that shade, right? And you're gonna use it as an eyeshadow. Just trust me, just trust me. You don't need eyeshadow. And I like to just apply it to the lid and then diffuse it out. Look at that difference. It's so beautiful and it's so convenient and no one is gonna know that you're wearing lipstick on your eyes. Plus the formula really is so easy to blend out because it's cream. So if you're someone like me and you don't love to wear a ton of eyeshadow, this is, this is perfect. Now to add the sparkle, I'm gonna take the pressed glitter from this Kat Von D palette and just pat that on my lid. Just adding a little bit of a sheen. All right, as you can see, I added a little bit of that blue underneath my eyes just to add something different. Again, variety is the spice of life. People are gonna notice little tweaks that you make to your beauty routine and you only live once. Don't be afraid to try something new. My next tip, it's very, very simple, but I just need to be reminded of it all the time and I'm sure you do too. It's kind of like drink your water, which I don't do enough. Please. Please keep your lips moisturized. Half the time when I feel crusty and unattractive in the winter, it's because my lips are crusty. So Sephora actually carries my three favorite formulas for lip care and lip color combos. I love a two-in-one. Again, multitasking, convenience, we love to see it. So the first one is by Kosas. This is a clean beauty brand, and this is their Hyaluronic Lip Balm in the color Rush. So this is part of their Kosas Sport line. Um, I love this shade. It's pretty much a My Lips But Better color. It's beautiful. It smells minty and I have been wearing it for a long time. I've probably had this for a year or over a year by now. And then my other two favorites are by Fenty. So this one is the Fenty Pro Kisser Luscious Lip Balm in Latte Lips. So it's a fairly neutral nude. So it's not too brown, but it's not too pink. Yeah, really, really beautiful. And then this is, this is a beautiful color. This is the Slip Shine Sheer Shiny Lipstick in number seven, Goji Gang. 
So this is sheer. It's kind of like a, a dusty rosewood type of color. Either one is really, really beautiful. What am I gonna go for? I think I'm gonna go for the Luscious Lip Balm. And obviously it looks like a lip gloss, but it really feels, it's so buttery. It really feels like it's nourishing your lips. I'll wear this before bed. I wear this 30 minutes before putting on makeup or I wear it like a lip gloss. And it's really the perfect neutral nude for my skin tone. My next tip is very simple, but very effective. Can you guess my tip? No, it is not that you have to go buy a pink plaid blazer. It is wear your colors. A couple months ago, I had my personal color analysis done. Uh, I personally got it done with someone who works with uh, a Bauhaus based system. So there's fall, spring, winter, and summer. And then within that, you have all of the colors that are best for you. So they look at your undertone, cool or warm. I have a cool undertone, which most of my life people told me I was warm, which is why I look back and I'm like, why was my makeup orange? Why was I wearing that much bronzer? And it basically just gives you rules, which you can totally break, but rules about how to dress, what colors to wear, what hair colors, uh, makeup. It's super, super helpful in just helping you look more alive without trying that hard. It's the difference of throwing on color near my face. I don't have to depend on just makeup or getting a good night's sleep to actually make me look alive because sometimes we don't have the time for it. So find out what your colors are. Either go get a professional color analysis done, which I think is such a wise investment because your coloring never changes your whole life. You'll always have the same undertone. Um, or you can take quizzes online and kind of figure it out for yourself. Either way, it's so helpful and it's just an amazing beauty tool that many people in this day and age don't talk about a lot. I know it was a big thing and like, the 80s and 90s, but I think it's still amazing and effective. In fact, I would not have bought this jacket had I not been uh, aware of my own personal colors and what effect wearing your colors can have on you. And now it's one of my favorites. I love it. So here's something we should talk about. Going in with burnout and anxiety and the feeling of being overwhelmed, one of the first things that goes for most people when they're struggling with time and with anxiety and with mental health is self-care. And it can even be hygiene. We don't feel that we have the time. You may get to a point where you're wearing bikini bottoms as underwear because you haven't done laundry in so long. Listen, I've been there a couple times. But that can have a real toll on your self-esteem and the way that you feel. And I know that Time isn't something we can buy extra of. So if you're running low on time or low on motivation and low on energy, I've noticed having clean hair, hair that smells good, looks good, feels clean, is, is huge. So I have two products that I have recently been using that have really helped me on those days when I'm busy, when I wanted to wash my hair but I just don't have time, when I'm gonna be around people, in 30 minutes and I wanna smell good but my hair's feeling a little dirty. I just feel so much better when I've used one or both of these products. So the Kerastase Paris Fresh Affair Refreshing Dry Shampoo. This is a fine fragrance root and hair refresher. So what I love about this and the reason I bought this is that it has fragrance in there. So as you know, hair that has not been washed in a couple days, hair that is a bit oily at the root, doesn't smell very good. It's sometimes kind of obvious when people haven't washed their hair in a while because there is that dirty hair smell. And that is so, that's the worst. That's like a different type of BO, right? Um, it's something that I think we all wanna avoid even if we're running low on time and or energy. So I got this because it has that fragrance benefit. And it's amazing. To me, this smells like orange blossom and it doubles as a wonderful dry shampoo. As you can see, ugh, it's like orange blossom or neroli. It's just that it's so good. But as you can see, I have really, really dark hair at the roots. And this leaves absolutely no white cast. 
it absorbs oil, and it makes my hair smell amazing. And then most of you who are not new to my channel know that I am like the fragrance queen. I love perfume, but I had never used a hair perfume because I was like, why? I'll just spray perfume in my hair. But the formulas tend to be different for hair mists and perfumes. They can tend to be a little bit less alcoholic, so they're gentler on the hair and they can tend to be a lot more inexpensive than the actual fragrance. So I picked up the Chanel Coco Mademoiselle Fresh Hair Mist. Now I don't own this perfume, but I like it. Um, my best friend wears it. I really like this perfume, but I've just never bought it for myself because I'm always trying new things. It feels a little elegant to have a Chanel hair mist, but it's a lot more inexpensive than the perfume. And this just smells so good and I only use about three sprays like I just did now and then I flip my hair around and it stays in my hair all day. I've noticed if I flip my hair, which I do all the time, the fragrance kind of refreshes. Uh, whenever I restyle my hair, like if I put that mist in yesterday and then I curled my hair today, it refreshes the fragrance again. And it plays really well with both of the perfumes that I mentioned earlier in the video. I'm so happy with it and I just, it just makes me feel put together and so much more confident when my hair looks and feels clean and smells amazing. Continuing with the hair theme, another convenience thing that I don't know how it took me this long to discover one of these. I had been recommended products like this, but I assumed because I have so much hair, it's so thick and just, I have a multitude of strands. I just thought it's not for me but I decided to try this. This is a blow dryer and brush by Amika, which is, I love Amika, I love their styling products, and I've used a couple of their hot tools. So this is the box that it came in, I kept the packaging. It is the Amika Blowout Buffet. So it came with the blow dryer brush and a styling set, which includes their Perk Up Dry Shampoo, which is pretty much my standard go-to dry shampoo. It's fantastic, doesn't irritate my scalp. And then the Wizard Detangling Primer, which I now use before I blow dry my hair with this tool anytime I use it. Now I just need one hand to blow dry my hair. I don't have to use a blow dryer and a brush. I'm not a round brusher, I'm not good at it. And I was truly convinced, I was like, I don't think this product can brush through my hair um, it's gonna be too thick and too much, but it can. So this is the most convenient thing ever. I think for travel, this is amazing because you have a brush and a blow dryer in one. I bring this to the gym to style my hair at the gym. This is so like bad of me, but I'll be blow drying my hair and like I can text because I only need one hand. This entire kit was $99.99 from Sephora. So um, yeah never going back. It leaves my hair very, very sleek, not frizzy because it's kind of controlling where the air goes. Instead of just blowing your hair all around, you can really control and, and kind of maneuver it downwards so it dries in a really, really sleek, shiny way. So love that. My other two tips are going to require discipline from you, just a little bit. And it is sleep, as much as you can. Don't let anyone ever make you feel bad about taking naps. I am of the church of naps. I believe in them. I take them any chance I can get, especially as a singer. If you don't sleep enough, your voice will suffer. Uh, if you've ever been out and you only have a couple hours of sleep, the next morning you wake up, you, you have no voice. It's not only from yelling the night before and maybe drinking, but it's also lack of sleep. You don't have time to recover. So I sleep as much as I can, and that has helped so much with my skin repairing, recovering from workouts, just being in a better mood, my brain working better, being more present at work, it fixes everything, sleep really does. And then the other one is, and I know that this is hard for my people who live in really cold climates, but get outside while the sun is out. Because around here the sun has been setting at like 4 p.m. It's throwing me off, it's really easy to feel kind of blue and sad at night, and especially if my sleep isn't on point and I'm waking up at like 11, I only have a couple more hours of sunshine. That totally throws me off. So get your sleep together and wake up at, an, at a time when you have several hours to enjoy the sunshine and get outside for at least 30 minutes a day. Take your dog for a walk, listen to a podcast, listen to a new album. I've been listening to Fleetwood Mac and kind of rediscovering their discography on my walks and it's 
just been wonderful and I I'm not always aware that I'm absorbing this sunshine but I feel better the rest of the day and it I feel better the next day too so get outside get some sunshine I promise 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 it's gonna make you feel better so those are my beauty tips for those of us feeling a bit burnt out overwhelmed or anxious during the holiday season you are not alone but I hope that these simple tips could help you for feeling surface level confident and a bit more comfortable in your own skin don't forget that the sephora fragrance for all event is going on until december 24th 20 percent off of full-size fragrances use code fragrance 20 and for same day shipping with online orders use the code same day you can shop all of the products that i mentioned in this video in the down bar with the links that i will include below i hope you love them and they bring some ease and convenience into your holiday season. Definitely sign up for the Beauty Insider program if you're not already a member at Sephora. And that's all I have to say to you today. Make yourself a nice holiday drink today, okay? Hot cocoa, London fog, a latte, something. Do something nice for yourself today, all right? I will catch you in my next video. Love you guys very much. Mwah! Bye guys.